Alicia Clark, one of the best defensive players in the WNBA, Brianna Stewart, and then last year's defensive player of the year, Natasha Howard. The, way the Las Vegas Aces just did against Connecticut. Game. Dawson's from three, cutting for this younger Minnesota core so they can feel what it's like, that experience. Winning a semifinal game is done. Hit it. The Miris Dantas, six points already, has hit both of her looks from three. Stewart Rattle. Shooting it in the mid-40s as a team. Burr got that one. Really nice screen to get the goal when the trap came for her. Lloyd, a rare miss in this series. Rebound kept alive by Clark. Bird feeds Stewart. She got it. Russell, very strong performance in game two. Gets the no look from Bird. And right over Minnesota. A little more than four minutes into the first quarter of game three. Bird steals it off the deflection. Bird lobs. Stewart juggle. And Brianna Stewart. We've seen Las Vegas extend their season. Force the winner take off game five. Tuesday night against Connecticut with a win earlier this afternoon. The quick bunny hops. Couldn't bank it in, and finally Seattle secures the rebound. Bird lobbing. Stewart hitting. Oh, okay, good. I mean, we've seen this plenty. Sue Bird to Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart. Another turnover by Minnesota. That's their fifth of the quarter. Bird lines it up and knocks it down for three. It'll be a winner-take-all game five. That series has been great. Tuesday night will be outstanding. Bird gets a breather. Epiphany Prince. This isn't to be able to do it. Wickham sees the lane, puts it in. Pass to create. Minnesota struggling just to get a decent look. Good pass into Collier. And finally, Minnesota in that run. The 24-10 storm lead. And now a steal from Dangerfield. Dangerfield dashes in, puts it. Opportunity for your team. How is the sense of urgency and the desire to, to earn a trip to the finals tougher today? Thank you. Well, Seattle, a 10-point lead. The Minnesota scores the opening bucket of the quarter. And he from Dangerfield. Bannum can't rim in the three. How about Dangerfield from deep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a game where crash. <laughs> and, and you didn't jump on it at all. I just let it go. I didn't know if it was that or your hot tea container. Oh, no. The hot tea is fine. Bird back in for Seattle. So is Stewart. Her jumper is pure. The field goal percentage is uh, going up. <laughs> Stewart on the rejection. Howard leading the break with Canada trotting and finishing. Brianna Stewart assessing the defender and gets Herbert Harrigan to jump to the left. So she goes the other way, rise, fire. 0 for 7 from 3 in the last game of this series, and she's feeling it on both ends. Beautiful block, too, to fuel the transition. She couldn't do shooting or standing stuff. She would do ball handling stuff. We're just seeing a much better overall athlete and basketball player, Brianna Stewart. How about that little volleyball put back? Yeah, laborious, long, but wow. As she looked great in her first season after injury. And how about Lloyd doing the little thing? Bird down the floor. Howard lays it. And Defisa Collier come alive here on the offensive end. Seattle's defense been so disruptive so far in this first half. Dantas, it yields in this first half. Six to shoot. Bird gets it into Stewart. She banks it in. Points now for Stewart. She's 7 of 11. Seven assists for Bird. Collier. It's fun to watch them together. Sue Bird with the tilt of the head or a flash of the eyes can direct Brianna Stewart where to go. And Stewart. Minnesota extending their defensive pressure, trying to find a way to cut into this lead to end the half. Stewart another. An 18 point Seattle cushion. Nice cut from Dangerfield and dumped his down. It's always a luxury when you have bigs who can pass the basketball. That's a beautiful dive from Dantes to Seattle. Two for one opportunity for Minnesota. Dangerfield trying to wiggle around Lloyd. It was able to finish the way she can when she gets into the paint. Just 5-5. Five, five. 
Bird, her three is. Dangerfield trapped, gets it to Sims, three seconds left. Sims finds Dantas to make it Collier for the lay. And that'll four points in that first quarter. There were plenty of times she would pick and cut to the basket like we're seeing right now, and they just couldn't get the ball into her because of this length and great sort of bucket of relevance. That's right. Collier is really good, especially one defender. Right, right. Right, right, right. Russell, who Seattle is going to have to rely on here. And Howard did pick up her fourth right before Russell picked up her third at the very beginning of this quarter. So that's the explanation for Howard being on the bench as Minnesota comes up with a steal and Danger Floyd did not start the third quarter on the floor. For more on that, let's check it. Floor together than we've seen throughout this series. Dantes gives it up. Sims connects from three. Last two minutes. Bird looking to set up Stewart. Magbagor gets it to Stewart who lays it. You get your big player to roll, but Sue did not have the angle on the direct entry pass, so instead make the... Stewart dives in and curls it all. 13th turnover. So here, her shoulders get by Nafisa Collier just a little bit, but the length of her arms allows her to finish, like, right at the rim. For that great inside information, but it's been a really fun watch all day long, that matchup. 7-1 versus 6-8. I'll take that all day. Yeah, big time wing spins in. Pushing, flicking. Stewart will save it back. Stewart. Just trying to take advantage of the matchup on Bantam. She's the mismatch and waited till just the right time, got it in. Stewart using the rim to protect herself and finish on the other side. Should we mention her long arms one more time? Because it was helpful there, too. Just 34% as a team. Clark thought about the three. Good movement here. Stewart, you bet. Brianna Stewart short shooting today. 26 points now for the former MVP. Collier body. Now, now. Dantas keeps it alive. Four to shoot. Herbert Harrigan's rainbow drops in from three. And that's why Cheryl Reese says she needs to be patient with her. She can really bring some offense for you, especially for the three-point line. Wow, how bad this draws three. Dangerfield doesn't get the roll. Collier the rebound. Sims floater. Yeah, it's now for Collier. Ten points for Sims. Two for one for Seattle. Stewart cuts through two. If Minnesota can execute the two for one. Sims dribbled it off her foot out of bounds. That is a Minnesota turnover as Stewart. Brandon Stewart jumping out on the switch. Yeah, gets the shoulder right into her. Rookie of the year will wait. Let the clock run. Danger field zips into the lane, banks it in, and the foul. See if this can give them a bit of momentum going into the fourth quarter. Great job to absorb the contact and keep the focus on the rim to finish by Dangerfield. Minnesota staring at elimination. Lead. Canada stood up by Dangerfield. Good D here from Dangerfield. Canada finds the cutter in Lloyd and Russell. The Fouls on the game and she continues to give really nice minutes to Seattle off the bench. Remember a season ago, she was a starter when Brianna Stewart was out with injury. He's a Collier though. 10 points now for Collier, 13 rebounds. The Epiphany Prince just turns the corner and lays it. Plus the floor. They've got to tighten up there, but Nafisa Collier loves to drive to her left with her left hand. Great job finishing through the contact by Mag Bagor. <laughs> Epiphany Prince hits the th Howard thought about it, gives it up. Russell lays it in. 
Lane. And the bench of Seattle is peace to the Seattle Storm. She is their glue, one of their vocal leaders, and I love in particular, great pass by Dangerfield to Collier. Minnesota trying to still make a push here in this fourth. Collier a three, it is good. Devin, early in the third, Seattle built it back up, led by 19 moments ago as Bird finishes. Plus the Drives down the middle of the lane. She may have been surprised that the help was late coming. Where's the foul? On the right elbow. Yeah, recalibrated her nutrition and workouts over the last few seasons. And I mean, it's been amazing how productive. Dantas denied by. You want to know Collier's? Yeah, please. Six eight. Thanks to the feces fiance Alex, who got the information to Holly. Stewart, you bet. Brienne in her deep shot. Collier trying to find some space. It's the jumper. Future foundational superstars of this league. And you know we are going to watch Nafisa Collier at this time of year. Epiphany Prince, another jumper. She has nine points off the bench. Dantas on the floor, up 18 with 3.20 to go. Bird pull up, sure. Collier lays it in. It'll be a foul for much of this season. How bright is the future for this Lynx team? Very, very. It's one of the reasons Cheryl Reeve got my vote for Coach of the Year. I don't know how many people expected them to be able to secure. That is it. The Seattle Storm are headed back to the WNBA Finals. They sweep the Minnesota League.